Hello. My desire with this video is to offer you an easier path to sexual freedom and sexual fulfillment. And with that said, I present to you the five principles of sex by your online sex therapist, Dr. Martina. The sentence, sex is nice and pleasure is good for you, came from Darcy Easton, the author of The Ethical Slut, which is a book that I highly recommend. And she said it first in the 70s, and I think it's just as radical now as it was then. Um, sexually transmitted diseases, unwanted pregnancies, um, non-consensual sex, all these are all things that give sex a bad rap. But let's face it, there's absolutely nothing in, the world, in this world so terrific that cannot be and is not being abused by us humans, because that's what we do. We, um, we violate family connections, we manipulate sexual desires, we can even abuse chocolate, and I am definitely guilty of that, but that doesn't change the core of all of these things. Darcy Eason says that the danger lies in the motivation of the abuser, not in the nature of the item. So releasing physical tension, maintaining mental health, cementing relationships, and so on, these are all wonderful um, side benefits of sex. But sex is pleasure, and sex is for pleasure, and that is a complete and worthwhile, worthwhile goal all and of itself. Let me, let me tell you what I mean by sex positivity. Being sex positive means recognizing other sexual cultures and being free to explore your own sexuality within your own limits. I understand we all are prone to fall into sex negativity because we all are products of this society. But being sex positive means that you are on board with sex being good. It means that people who are sex positive inspire you to explore your own sexuality and step outside of your own comfort zone and create a sexuality that has a positive influence on your life. One of the most valuable things that we can learn from open sexual um, lifestyles is our pro that our programming is changeable. So don't judge other sexual cultures. Be sex positive, make room for them, and learn from them. Sexuality belongs to your body. This is something I say over and over again, and the body does not lie. The body tells the truth about hunger, about thirst, about sadness, about joy, and about your sexuality. Mindful attention to what your body is offering in regards to sensations is the key to sexual pleasure. Trust your body and learn how to listen to it. It does not lie. Any self-assurance comes from within comes from your heart, it cannot be given to you. And that is obviously not any different with sexual self-assurance. Interest, joy, and attention to your unique sexuality is the foundation of your sexual self-assurance. That's the foundation. Now, good information, experience, and courageous desire will help you build that self-assurance. Working from your heart and not from your mind will allow you to ask for help if and when you need any. I am very grateful that sex is a learned activity because that means that anyone that receives good information and has the willingness to learn can enjoy fulfilling sex. Every society wants us to experience our sexuality the way they think is moral. What if we would restrict all the musical instrument to, let's say, just the violin, and the, restricting the violin just to one song, and allowing that song to only be played one way? That's just not how sexuality works, because we're just too unique with it. Our bodies are instruments and sex is le learned activity. This means you can learn to play with your body 
and its erogenous zones. You can learn what feels good to you, what you desire more, and what you are not crazy about. So know that. And also, please be aware that I and just about everybody else who enjoys sex without strictures learned how to be this way despite the environment that we grew up in. So this means that this is something you can and will also achieve if you believe that sex is a learned activity. So these are the five principles of sex. I hope they're going to give you, I hope they're helping you if you're on your path of sexual fulfillment and sexual joy. I hope they inspire you if you want to be on that path and I hope they give you the courage to contact me if you need any help stepping onto that path. I'm looking forward to hear from you. You have a good week. Bye.